I am done. I am absolutely done. What is going on in this save? Every year in football, there are a crop of players who are built up to be the next superstars of the game. They are linked with all of the big clubs and develop a real aura of hype unparalleled to anything else you will see in sports. Some live up to this hype, but others fail due to a wide array of reasons and become what ifs and distant memories. However, is it too late to stop somebody from becoming a what if and a distant memory? That's what today's FIFA career mode challenge will explore. At age 23, Belgian footballer Zachariah Bakali is at a critical stage of his career. No longer a wonder kid, but still a relatively young man with time on his side in his footballing career. In FIFA 14, whilst playing at PSV, he had a potential of 90. Today, in FIFA 20, this potential is just 73. Is it too late for him to reach his FIFA 14 potential? Let's find out. G'day guys, how's it going? It is Jared HD here. Welcome back to another FIFA 20 career mode challenge. Unlike anything I have ever done before, potentially the start of a new series if you guys show it love, but we are headed to the Belgian league here, headed to Anderlecht and seeing if we can save the career of forgotten wonder kid Zachariah Bakali. But if you guys do go on to enjoy this video and you'd like the concept of this as a series, make sure you leave a like on the video down below. Also, if you are new around here, bloody scorpion kick that subscribe button down below. So here is the man of the hour himself, Bakali age 23 same age as me i mean i'd be happy if at age 23 i was rated 69 in fifa i'd be happy to be playing professional football at all but in terms of being a wonder kid the shine has definitely worn off 69 overall in this first season with a potential of 73 now what i'm going to be doing in this series i'm going to be making all the cards stack in bakali's favor I'm going to be making him a starting player. I'm going to aim to play him in as many games as possible. It's up to him, though, if he's going to be able to score results. But we're going to be going till the time he is age 30 and see just how he is looking. And the good thing is that I am now playing on PC, which means in the coding, I can go in and look and see what his potential is. I mean, for all the flaws FIFA 20 has, dynamic player potentials is definitely... It's probably my favorite thing added into the game in years. So we're going to be using dynamic play potential to hopefully improve Bakali's base potential and then hopefully grow his overall. So I'll check in every season and see how he's doing in terms of his potential. But there is a lot to do in between that. So there are a fair few players that are above Bakali in the pecking order here at Andalak. Nasser Chadli and Piazza are both on loan at the club. So we're going to be terminating both of these wingers loan deals so that Bakali has no competition. And this is how the Andalak side looks like right now ahead of this experiment. I mean, I did a rebuild with Andalak a few weeks ago now, and that's where the initial idea for this sparked up. So if you saw that rebuild, you know how many high potential players there are in this Anderlecht side. So I'm really hoping that their performances can be quite strong on the pitch and they can help Bakali have a good performance himself and grow. In terms of how much he is worth, currently in this first season, just 1.2 million pounds. But I'm going to be blocking all transfer offers here for Bakali. Not a chance I am selling him. I don't plan on boring you guys by showing you every single game in this experiment, in this challenge, but for the sake of it, let's watch how we go in the first game. Bakali starting off here and Bakali scored a brace in the first game of the experiment. What? I really hope that is a sign of things to come. That's hopefully a good omen. Francis Amuzu, he has great potential in FIFA career mode, but there is no way that I'm letting him get between us and some game time for Bakali. So, do I want to look? No, I'm going to release him straight up, considering loading him, but 
If this was a normal rebuild or a normal career mode, I would definitely be starting him over Bakali, but we can't let him take Bakali's boys down. So here we are at the end of the first season with Anderlecht, and Bakali has gone up plus two overall to a 71. So he still hasn't reached his initial potential, which is expected. I didn't expect him to go up four this season, obviously, but what a season he's had on the path. 40 games played, 11 goals scored, that isn't a bad return on investment for this first season. So, I mean, that brace in the first game definitely helped. But plus two overall, 11 goals, definitely a step in the right direction. And in terms of his stats increasing, we've seen some big jumpers. I mean, his agility has gone up plus five. Most of the other stats have gone up like plus one or two. Vision's gone up plus five as well. So... Definitely a good season one here for Bakari. Not too fussed on how we do in the Belgian league, but I'll keep you guys updated just for the sake of it. And we did finish fifth in this first season. So that is season one done and dusted with Zachariah Bakali here. The big thing that I'm excited for, I wanna see in the coding whether his potential remains at a 73 or whether it goes up at all. That's the big question. Let's go get an answer for our question. No, okay, despite having a great season one, Bacali's potential is still a 73. So if he does have the same season he had like last season, if he scores 11 goals, has 40 uh, games and goes up plus two overall, he will hit that 73 potential. And that would make me quite interested to see if the potential stays the same or if dynamic player potential starts to kick in. And we've had two left midfielders come back from loan here. Both of them potential candidates to take Bacardi's position. So Luka Adzic is out of the club on a free deal and Kenneth Scythe is out on a deal as well. Also, I should preface to you guys, I am using a few of the PC mods to make everything stack in Bacali's favor. I don't think I'm gonna keep you guys up to date with player departures, but I don't know, I feel the need to show you guys this for some reason. Elias Kobar is leaving the club off to Braga. So I have noticed quite often in the past few games that Sami Nazri has been coming off the bench and re replacing Bacali quite early, like with half an hour to go, almost like clockwork. So. You guys know what that means. It's time, it's time to go, Sami Nasri. So there it is, Nasri, a great player, a legend of football, but he is leaving on a free. Hopefully, that can give him a little bit more time to hang out with, what is it, he's masseuse or something? I don't know, if you know the meme, you know the meme. For argument's sake, let's see if it worked. Yes, it did, Bakali plays the full 90, Sami Nasri nowhere to be to stuff it up for him. Couldn't get a goal though, would have liked a goal. So here we are at the end of season number two, and Bakali has done exactly what I hoped would happen at the start of the season. He has made things quite interesting because once again, he has gone up plus two overall. He actually had a better season on the park than last year, 13 goals and four assists. So he improved both of those totals by two, played four less games due to a slight injury halfway through the season, but I am still very happy with that performance this season. Hopefully, it sees his potential get increased. In terms of stats, no crazy big jumpers like last season, although his interceptions have gone up four, not hard when they were at 16, but no massive jumpers unlike last season. In the Belgian league this season, however, we did come away as champions. We got eliminated in the group stages of the Europa League. So Bacali is off contract at the end of next season. So I'm gonna go in and reward our boy for his great growth with a massive, massive, Massive contract here, 319,000 pounds. Yeah, I didn't think you'd be saying no to that one. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, I haven't had this happen for so long. I thought he's got kicked out of the game, but we've been terminated by the Anderlecht board. While you have complete freedom over agreeing contract terms of players, we've noticed that the value of Bakali's recent deal is far beyond any other existing contract in the team. They've sacked me because I've paid too much to Bacali. All right, let's go out, load up the latest save point and get this show back on the road. All right, here I go. I'll offer him a much more sane offer of 24,000 to 32,000. There's no way I can get out of this bloody hill. We're gonna have to go negotiate now. He wants 7.2 million pounds in a release clause. Come on, is he gonna accept it? There it is, he accepts less money to be fair. 
Bakali re-signs. No way I could have a release clause potentially having him leave the club. But there it is, a frantic season two done and dusted. We're going to get things going a little bit quicker now, fly through the seasons. But the big question now is has dynamic player potential kicked in? The goalpost has shifted just a bit here because at the start of season three, Bakali's potential, it's moving. It's going up, fellas. It's up to a 77 now. So it's back to having a four differential between his overall and potential. And I'm very, very interested to see now if Bakali has an insane season, I wonder how much the potential could go. Because I know from like my experience in the past that once dynamic play potential kicks in, it's very hard to stop. So very, very keen to see what sort of growth is had here in season three. Got to be cutthroat again here with players. Sailor Makers was doing what Nasri was doing and replacing our main man Bakali in the game time department. So the Belgian winger, again, an absolute weapon, but he's leaving the club. Bakali has gone up plus two overall again and has had a better season than the two previous whilst having the most game time out of this entire series yet, yeah, out of this entire challenge. He's 48 games have been played, 14 goals, no assists this season, which is odd, but he has gone up to a 75 overall. So for the third successive season, it is a growth of plus two, plus two, plus two. His attributes have gone kind of crazy again this season. I mean, everything around the board virtually has gone up and even his big, like his agility has gone up plus four. And he's now into the 90s. That is a very good sign. In terms of our team performances, we could not go and go back to back in the Belgian Pro League. We got absolutely destroyed in the Champions League group stages. I would honestly find it so funny if we managed to unintentionally complete a rebuild whilst not even trying to do that. Like, if we won the Champions League here with Anderlecht, that would be just hilarious. And in the Europa League, we got destroyed by Lille in the round of 32. So that is season three in this Bacali experiment, done and dusted. And I'm very keen to see how his potential is going up now, given he's had another great season on the park and another good season of growth. His potential has gone up plus four again. Up to an 81 potential now, Bacali is 75 overall at age 26. He's nearing his peak of his career as well. So this season, he hopefully is going to have a big growth in terms of his overall. But the potential now into the 80s, that is a good sign. Bacali has only gone up plus one overall this season, unfortunately. 55 games have been played, just the nine goals, three assists, but he's gone up to a 76 overall. So he's broken the chain of going up plus two in the overall department. And he's broken the chain of having a better season on top of everything. So I'm interested now if that's going to affect his potential. It's definitely clear to see in terms of the attributes as well that his growth has slowed down slightly due to the fact that he has only had a few stats go up compared to the previous seasons. We did absolutely destroy the Belgian Pro League. I would say that the rest of our side is just going crazy right now. Absolutely destroyed in the Champions League group stages again. I swear we had PSG and Napoli in our group last season. Still got destroyed though. So there we go, getting through the seasons nice and quickly. Season four done and dusted. What is the potential of Bacali gonna be at the start of season five? Holy sh- what? Bacali's potential has gone up plus six, up to an 87. Despite having his worst season yet, he's gone up to an 87 potential. Dynamic play potential, you are Walden, what? So he has 11 overall points to make up if he wants to hit that potential. He's age 27. This is unreal. So at the end of this fifth season with Bacali again, not a great season, in fact. I can't, what did he have last? He might have had similar stats to what he had last season. Got 53 games under his belt. Just the nine goals. Holy crap, look at Vlap and Vashashin. 35 and 33 goals apiece. But Bacardi did not go up in overall this season, which is a very, very worrying sign. He's gone from plus two consistent seasons, then plus one. Then he's had no growth this season, despite having his potential go up plus six. So something is not 
linking up here. The potential and the overall are not working as a team here. So that is very interesting. And in his attributes, he has not grown at all. So maybe Bacali has reached his seat. He's reached his ceiling, perhaps 28. That would make sense. I mean, I still have players growing career mode when they're 28, 29. It's when they hit 30, 31 that it generally stops. But Bacali has stayed at the 76 this series. However, his valuation has gone up 26% this season. So I don't know if FIFA knows something that we don't. Another Belgian league title here for Anderlecht. Another piss poor performance as well in the Champions League. So the start of season six is gonna be a very critical start for Bacali. Is his potential gone up from an 87? Is his overall gonna improve in this season? This is the most critical season of the experiment in my opinion. How does that work? Bacali's potential has gone up to 94. How? How does that happen? He's 76 overall still. So he's got an 18 point differential between his overall and his potential. I don't know what to expect here this season. Is he gonna go up? Is he gonna go down? Is he gonna stay the same? I don't know what to expect at this point. What is going on in this save? He's had his worst season to date, 37 games, three goals, three assists. He's gone up plus six. He has gone up plus six to an 82 overall. What in the world is FIFA 20? He's aged 29 and he's gone up plus six. I don't understand. This is, if he, if he scored like 40 goals, I would understand that. It would make more sense. He scored three goals and got three assists and played like 15 games less than last year. What? His attributes didn't go even, even go up that much. I mean, some even regressed. His reactions and his strength went down. I feel like his acceleration and agility improved quite a lot, but how has he gone up plus six with only those growth points? It is another fantastic Belgian league title to our name, however, but I don't think we're gonna get out of the Champions League group stages at this point. And once again, we have been eliminated. We meant for the round of 16 of the Europa League to be fair, but that is season six done and dusted here with Anderlecht. We've got one season of growth remaining potentially. This is the final season in this challenge. What is his potential gonna be at and what is his overall going to be at by the time we finish this challenge? Lads, I am done. I am absolutely done. His potential is 98. He's got one season left in this experiment. His potential is 98. He's 82 overall right now at age 29. We've like half saved his career to be fair. But if he goes up 16 overall points in this season, I'm going to be one very, very surprised man. This is... I don't, I don't understand this. Like... 98 potential, what? So I am at the end of season seven here, and I'm here to leave you guys on a cliffhanger. We're gonna check out the results first. And elect another Belgian league title. Bruges, we're on 46 points. But again, we couldn't get out of the Champions League group stages. How embarrassing. And we got eliminated by Braga in the round of 32 of the Europa League. Not that it really matters. But here we go, lads, the moment of truth. We have our squad here. I haven't even looked at the Cullies overall yet, so we're gonna scroll down and see how the Belgian went. So I'm looking for a high overall 90, 86. What? Bacali is gone from an 82 to a 75 rating this season. I do not get that. He's had his best season on the park as well. Has he just, he's hit 30, his 30th birthday came and FIFA have just chopped off half his bloody limbs. How does that work? He's got, he had 98 potential at the start of the season, but he's gone down seven overall points despite playing 54 games, getting 14 goals. I don't understand. I do not understand this game, lads. Bacali has gone from an 82 to a 75 in one season. This game is cranked. And I mean, his physical stats, his, all of his stats, have just taken an absolute nosedive. That is quite weird to see. But, lads, in one of the most weird videos I've ever made, that is where we're going to bring it to a conclusion. If you guys enjoyed what was a mind-blowing video, make sure you leave a like on it. Let me know, if you guys want me to turn this into a series, what wonder kid should I try rescuing next? I mean, 
I, just, I would like to rescue someone a little bit lower just for the pure fact that I want to see what happens if you have more time with them, but my mind is all over the shop right now. If you guys enjoyed this video, this challenge, make sure you leave a like on the video. Subscribe down below if you're new around here. I'll see you for the next video soon. It's a mind-blown Jaren HD here. I am out. Peace.